python variables and constants we shall start with our discussion with python variables we know that in any programming language we define some variables so variables are nothing but some named memory locations so how many memory locations will be defined under one variable that will be decided by its data type that is a size of the data type so here we are having the python variables so in python variable is a name named location used to store data in the memory each variable must have a unique name called identifier so depending upon the data type of the variable the number of bytes going to be occupied that will be decided and the memory address of that memory block will be having a name which is accessible from the programming code so that will make the programmers it will make the programmers easier to write their codes in python variables do not need declaration to reserve memory space the variable declaration or the variable initialization happens automatically when we assign a variable assign a value to a variable so there is no need to uh, define all the variables at the beginning of the code like in our c c++ we always write all the variables and the respective data types at the beginning of our code and then only we can use them in the respective uh, successive codes but that constraint is not there in python the variable declaration and the variable initialization can be done in the same statement so here you see there is a count is equal to 100 say emp underscore name is equal to robin and say age 1 age 2 age 3 is equal to 44 comma 37 comma 22 so in this way you see at this particular line the variable age 1 age 2 age 3 they have got defined the respective variables have got initialized and here you see here we put the integer values so the variable will have the respective data type integer in that case so in this way we can have multiple variables can be initialized can be uh, can be declared in the same statement and there is a syntax in which we are writing so there is no need to put the semicolon at the end of the python statement so that's why no semicolon is there so that's why uh, there is a way to define and also to initialize variables a constant is a type of variable whose value cannot be changed and it is helpful to think of constants as containers that hold information which cannot be changed later on so that's why the constant is nothing but a variable which will be holding a value but the value cannot be changed later on so naming conventions for variables and constants in python so that is the nomenclature should be purposeful we all know that it is a good programmers practice the best practices of the developers and programmers is that the variable name the function name the class name should be purposeful from the very variable name i should get the idea what is the purpose of the variable and what kind of value it is supposed to hold the use name uh, there is a camel case notation what is the meaning of this camel case camel, camel case means the first letter will be in the lower case but the next words if there are multiple words in the variable name they will be starting with the capital letters and the rest of the letters will be in the lower case so use capital letters to represent a constant symbols like your at the rate of hash exclamation dollar percentage etc should not be used don't start with the digit that is very common in the previous video also we have shown you that one one variable is not a valid variable name but variable one is a valid variable name so constants are put into function modules and meant to be meant not to be changed here I, as I discussed earlier the constants cannot be changed later on so constant and variable names should have the combination of letters in lowercase that is small a to small z or uppercase letters that is the capital A to capital Z or digits that is 0 to 9 or an underscore these are the valid characters in naming so let us go for a further discussion with some demonstration for easier understanding in this session we are discussing and demonstrating how to define constants and variables so constants in python can be defined it is our common practice to write all the constant the constant name all in the capital letters so pi is equal to 3.14 gravity is equal to 9.8 in this way the constants can be defined in our python and now we are going to define that how that variables can be defined and how to declare variable how to assign val values on them 
so a is equal to apple so now a is available as the apple is of the type text or string so a will be of the type string here so print a so a will get printed so now let me go for the execution this line has got no print so that's why the no ex no outcome is there so let me go for the print if you go for this print pi we are getting this one as 3.14 now for this part if i go for the execution it will come like this so a is equal to apple so print a so it is printing apple here changing the value of a variable so that can be done using reassignment so a is equal to aeroplane so now if you type this one and then print a it is printing the respective string so next time i'm printing i'm just assigning 100 to a so now if we print a then it is getting the value 100 so you can find that the same variable sometimes may be initialized with the string sometimes with the integer and that is allowed in python because in case of python python uh, python is a dynamic type language that means the variables data type will be decided during the runtime so during the runtime whatever the value the variable is containing that will decide the data type of the variable and in case of python there is no need to declare the variable separately at the beginning of the uh, code we can define variable as when we require to use them and he can find that here this a is equal to aeroplane so that means the a has got the data type string and the next part of the code the a will be treated as a string until and unless it is getting initialized with some other data type value so here we have written a is equal to 100 so in the next part of the code a will be treated as of the type integer until and unless a is getting initialized with some other type of values assigning multiple values to a variable so b c d all these three variables are getting assigned with this 1 2.5 and hello respectively in a same same single line so this one will be assigned to b 2.5 will be assigned to c and hello will be assigned to d so when you are printing b c and d we are getting the outcome as 1 2.5 and hello next one is that assigning the same value to multiple variables using a same statement in the same line you know so b is equal to c is equal to d is equal to 5 that means the 5 is getting assigned to b c and d both at the same same time in a single statement single assignment statement so 555 is going to get printed here so in this example and demonstration we have discussed that how to define constants and how to define variables and how to assign values on them thanks for watching this video